Hi, my name's Isaac Shutt. I'm an estate planning attorney licensed both in Texas and in Wyoming. And today I'm gonna to describe a very confusing term. A lot of our estate planning clients are confused by this and that is the residue in my will. What is the residue? Um, you know, a lot of these terms that we have in last will and testament and th these are not, you know, words and terminology that we use every day and it can be a little confusing. So the residue of an estate is basically the pot, so to speak. So for example, if you said, I want my two kids to inherit my estate 50-50, what you're really talking about when you say 50-50 is who gets the residue. It's the everything else after you've given away all your specific bequests. So a specific bequest is sort of a little carve out item. So if you said, I want my grandchild to get the first $10,000 that's a specific bequest, and then everything else goes 50-50 to my two kids, that would be the residue of my estate. Now, when we talk about a residue of an estate, we wanna make sure that we give away the conceivable everything. So what I mean by that is a lot of times when we see DIY wills or online wills that you know maybe we're prepared without a lawyer involved, we see people that give away things sort of piecemeal without giving away the hypothetical 100% of the estate. So you need to have fractions or percentages of the pot that give away the hypothetical everything. So in other words, if you're thinking, okay, well, all I really have, Isaac, is my house, my car, and an account. So I wanna do a specific bequest of my house to my son, and my car, and my account to my daughter. And I know in my head that that's giving away everything, so I'm good, right? No, you don't wanna do that. You need to have a residue provision that says, I give all the rest and residue of my estate in these shares. That way the hypothetical everything is taken care of um, even if you're thinking I don't have anything else. And that is really, really important because these Texas probate judges can be extremely picky and you don't want to make a problem for your family after you pass away. So if you don't give away the hypothetical everything in your estate through percentages or fractions, that creates what's called a partial intestacy, which means the judge says, I'll honor your will. I'll give the house to this person, the car to that person, the account to that person. But if there's conceivably something else out there, since you didn't address that in your will, we're going to treat the hypothetical everything else as if you had no will at all. And that could double, triple, or even quadruple the probate costs when you pass away if you don't properly handle the residue of your estate. So again, just in summary, a specific bequest is like a captured dollar amount or a classic vehicle that off the top you're giving to a particular person. And then the pot, so to speak, is the residue of your estate. And you need to make sure that you say, I give all the rest and residue of my estate to XYZ people in certain percentages. That way the hypothetical everything in your estate is addressed. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, my name is Isaac Shutt. I'm an estate planning attorney licensed both in Texas and in Wyoming.